Now, has this happened to your patio door or your French door's lock? Where you keep pulling the handle down and the door doesn't open. Well, what could have happened is the gearbox might have gone in the locking mechanism. So in this video, we're going to show you how to replace this door lock. So, let's get on with it. Now, first thing we need to do is identify the actual gearbox itself. So, all we've got here is a maker's name, which is Sherlock. So I need to get on the old interweb and find out exactly how many of these locks Sherlock make. Now, after going on eBay, I found out that Sherlock, or ERA Saracen Sherlock UPVC door lock gearbox has two sizes, which are 35 millimeters and 45 millimeters. But there are two critical sizes. So if you're going to buy the lock, you need to measure from the center of the door handle to the center of the lock and from the center of the lock to the edge of the door they are the two critical sizes this is your 35 and your 45 mil and we're looking for around about 92 millimeters i think on this lock here so let's have a look so from the center of the spindle of the handle and the center of the lock that looks like 92 millimeters and from the edge of the door to the center of the lock it's looking about 35 millimeters now before we get started what i've gone and done is put one of the dog's towels down because we've got a grid here and i'll end up dropping screws down that grid so put the old towel down to stop that and i've got an old takeaway tub to put the screws in so i don't lose the screws Next thing you need to do is take the door handles off, which is just literally these two screws here. And this door handle, before we can take it off, we need to use a 3mm Allen key to slacken this grub screw off. One screw. Now the door handle should come off, there's one off, so that's the door handles off and the spindle for the handle. Next thing I'm going to remove is the lock barrel. Now it's this screw here we need to remove and it uh, looks a bit flimsy to compared to the others so I'm just going to use my little ratchet to remove this screw because I don't want to snap it. Okay, well done, easy. Now I've put the key in the lock because we might have to waggle the centre part of the lock out to get it out. Get the screw out. So all the way out. See how the key won't, the lock won't come out until you waggle it a little bit because it's that little centre bit there where you need to get into the right position to be able to get it out. If you don't put the key in, you won't get that out. Now, not on the door lock here, if you are going to replace the door lock on this lock, the distance from that end to the centre screw and from the other end to the centre screw is 50mm. But some of them are slightly off-centred, so you could get 40mm on this side and 60mm on the other. And, as you can see, the door lock is 100mm long. So, if you are replacing the lock, make sure you get the correct lock. Now, besides that screw, that screw and that screw, we need to take all these screws out here to remove this rail. Now, you can see I've just taken a majority of the screws out of the bar, not all of them, because I don't want this hook lock to fall apart. So, you can see I've just been able to move the bar away from the door, so the gearbox is able to come out of the door easy to change now. Now one of the things I have noticed while taking the gearbox out is this screw here is longer than that one, that one and that one. So make sure you put it back in the right place. Now this is the old lock and this is the new lock and we've got a couple of differences. Now the first one you can see that's the way that needs to go and ours is facing the wrong way and the new one but we just need to undo these two screws in here 
and that'll swap over, that's easy. But the biggest problem is, you can see the parts of the lock there are the same size that way, but if we look at them this way, this one, the new one, is thicker than the old one. So it's not going to go through the lock. So you can see it, if I do it that way like that, you can see they're a different thickness. So I'm going to have to file out the bar to allow this to go through it. Great. And you can see what I mean here. That's the old one, it goes through that easy. And that's the new one, won't go through. So I'm going to have to make this slot slightly wider. So it looks like it's just under 7 mil. So if I make the slot 7 mil, it'll fit perfectly. These are the tools I'm going to be using to grind out the hole. So a standard flat file and this cordless grinding tool with this tapered grinding bit. So you can see I'm not far off 7 mil. So the lock should fit in perfectly. Moment of truth. Beautiful. Now to save me grinding this out, because this one didn't fit so I had to grind it out, I've managed to swap the old one onto the new lock. So they fit perfectly, luckily enough. But if it didn't fit, then you would have to grind that out as well to be able to get that to fit through. Now if I quickly check the keep on the other door, you can see it's nearly 11 mil. So the new lock will easily slide into there and I don't need to make this any bigger. Now while we're on this side, if your door's not closing up properly on the seal, you can actually use this screw which is on a cam which makes this keep go out or in. So if your door's not sealing properly, just screw the screw up and it'll bring that cam further in, which will get the door closer to the seal. Works a treat. Now, when you're putting the lock back, you just got to make sure the top and bottom rod, which operate the hooks at the top and the bottom, need to slot into these two little lugs here. One here at the top and then there's one at the bottom. Now, before you put all the screws back, just make sure that the door works and the hooks at the top and the bottom go in and out. So now we've done that, we can get all the other screws back in. And again, before you build everything up, make sure the lock works and you can take the key out and put it back in again. Now that's everything back together. All we've got to do now is test it. Now, moment of truth. Let's see if it actually works. Perfect. It works. Hopefully you've liked the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.